if you don't have one of these or you don't have one of these and you don't want to get one of these how do you stay legal this week on kayak Hat. welcome back if you're new to the channel we cover kayak modifications spin and fly fishing so poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything now let's get on with it you never know when you're going to forget your measuring instrument and if you're going to keep a fish you got to make sure it's legal so what I do is I just measured out on my rod what the legal limits were. So right here you can see 15. That's the minimum size for flounder. And then I've got duct tape here and here. And this is 18, which is the lower end of the slot for redfish. And here's 27, the top end of the slot. Now when you use the tape or when you use the line on your handle, be sure you put a little arrow there to indicate where the measurement is taken from. So as you can see here, I'm measuring to this side of my duct tape. Now, if I forget my measuring device, I can just use my rod to measure the legal length of that fish. I used to use those sticky tapes on the side of my boat, but they didn't really work out too well. Another idea to stay legal, if you don't mind marking up your boat, is to just put the marks right on your boat using a sharpie. That way they're there forever and you can just put the fish in the appropriate spot on your boat and see if it's legal because nobody wants to go to jail. If you've got a better way or another way to measure a fish without using a measuring instrument, please let us all know. We'd certainly love to hear from you. Stick it in the comments below. Take care.